Hello everyone, my name is Nomus and welcome back to another episode of Valheim. Picking up here shortly after our last episode. Back at the house and I have finished our little uh, addition that we've put onto the side here. We're going to use this as our dedicated storage room. So I've got this place filled with crates. It should meet any of our storage needs for a little while. I've started putting signs on. Uh, for what we're going to be filling each crate with. I think that should do us well. And I've also uh, knocked out this wall here so we can access our forge from inside too, should we want to. So a few small changes around base. Uh, working on getting some more copper. Let's go ahead and fill this up rest of our copper ore and we'll top up the coal but today I want to see if we can make ourselves a ship because if we pass the beehives go down to the forest along the path that I made us we were clearing out trees uh, towards the water out this direction and I have uh, completed that and completed this little path and started work on a dock of sorts. I want us to make a, uh, a ship that we can put out here and do some uh, exploration possibly to another island. Now if we look at our map, the Elder, the next boss, is way up there. So we are going to have to cross the ocean. And uh, from here we can can I go up the coast uh, towards where I assume the other island is up here? Might be one more in between us and them, but that's kind of the plan for today, so. Let's get our hammer out. Let's get some wood. And let's continue building out this pier, or this dock. So we're just going to use these floor panels. Like, we probably, well, we should probably try and go right up to the edge of where the, uh, the little dotted circle line is there. And I think the water is deep enough for us to, uh, to dock the boat. We'll go ahead and put some pillars down here to hold this thing up. a small one there and then I think from here we should be able to reach the rest of the way let's get those to snap into place yeah that's almost perfect uh, we could do one more set of these I'm not sure if that touches the ground looks like it does That one to snap in. Oh, perfect. That uh, does that sit on the rock? It does. Okay, that actually wasn't planned, but that'll work nicely. Hmm. Should we do one more out? Maybe one more. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so there's our. Our dock. We'll be able to bring the boat in right up along there. Okay, so that's done. Let's put that wood back in there. And well, let's head back because so we're going to have to uh, get the other materials we need to actually make the boat. And I think to make the boat we need fine wood. Uh, we might not have a lot of fine wood, so probably gonna have to go chop some more down, but we'll see what we got in the chest over here. We got 12 fine wood. Alright, there's the rest of our copper. So let's go find some birch trees. Uh, that oak tree would also give us more fine wood, but I think we want to keep that. 
Uh, so it's kind of nice having a big tree by the house. Uh, there should be. Oh, there's a birch tree over here. Let's grab that one right there. Might as well pick up some more scraps though along the way. Might need one more tree after this too. So how much did that give us? Seven. Oh yeah, we might need a couple. So we got more birch trees here. There's another copper vein here. Ow. <laughs> Just took a a burst tree to the face like a champ. Some more gray dwarves are annoying friends. Okay, we are up to seventeen. So we got uh, Black Forest back in there. We're kind of surrounded by Black Forest. Let's go over here. I think it's more meadow out this direction towards the water. Yeah, there's another birch. Two birch over here. Oh, and some more raspberries. Uh, speaking of the berries, though, I think we could make the, uh, what is it, the, uh, cook, cook stove, the cooking pot, the cauldron, and then we can get some more stuff in there, more recipes. Uh, nope, wrong one. Yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. We'll make the cauldron. And we'll make our boat, and then we'll hit the seas. Right, 27. Do one more. We'll have to repair our axe as well. Okay, that should be all we need for right now. And the cauldron, I think, takes 10, 10 ingots. We should have that. So let's double check that. Uh, yeah, 10, 10 ingots. So let's get our. Oh, actually, we only have six. Okay, so we can't make that quite yet. All right. Let's see what else then we need for our boat. Ten deer hide, twenty resin, eighty bronze nails. So we got ten. Let's go ahead and grab. Some more ingots. We'll make some more. I think we get 20 out of these. Um, craft. Where's nails? Oh, not copper bronze. Whoops. Uh, okay, we'll grab four. There we go, yeah, 20 each, so we'll make 80 of these. Go get our 
hide. Drop off our scraps. Grab our hide. Grab our resin. That should be everything we need. Yeah, okay. Let's go down to the dock. Get some more food. Now, if we look at the map, I have gone down a fair bit of the coastline looking for tin, so... Uh, there, there's not much around us. We'd have to go a bit farther south or farther north to find more tin. Okay, so let's put that guy in the water. Oh, and we're a little high. I didn't think about that. <laughs> okay, um, maybe what we want to do is adjust this a bit. Maybe we uh, let's go back to building. Let's get rid of some of this. I'll have to build some stairs down. Just pick that up. Yeah, I didn't consider how uh, high up we were there. So we'll want it right down here. So I think from here we'll do some steps down. Uh, we are full. Okay, so let's do the stairs. And one more. That works, keeping that post there. Now we can do our floors out. Yeah, that'll work. Much better. Okay, I think we're gonna need some more supports over here, though. up again. Do a small one. Okay, and let's do one out in this corner. If I can. Quite in the crafting circle. There we go. Come on. Get out of the way, Eric. Well, you know what? This might work. I'll try and fix that later. That'll work for now. Alright, cool. It's done. Okay, I think we can go drop off our stuff. We have enough food. Maybe grab a little bit more food. We'll check our beehives. So 
the storm rolls in. Let's repair our axe. Might as well top that up. that off. Stone. Gray dwarf eyes. Got a little bit of meat here. Let's take that. Drop off our honey. We've got two full stacks of honey now. All our berries. Yeah, I don't have any more necktails. Maybe we'll take, um, maybe we'll take some honey with us. Once our necktails run out. Uh, anything else? Should we top up our arrows too, maybe? Since we are a little bit low. these up. Alright, so flint arrows. 84. Okay, 100. Eighty-eight fire arrows, that's good. It's okay for now. Let's get to sleep. And we'll take off in the morning. I can't sleep when I'm wet. Okay. Didn't know that. Drying off here. Let's get to sleep. And it sounds like there's a uh, necktails outside somewhere. Day 31. Okay. Off to the ship. Yeah, we're good. Let's see what we can find today. Maybe some more dungeons. That would be nice. I think primarily we just want to find out how to get to the Elder. Alright, so let's get moving that direction. Push off. So, in the uh, right hand side, we can see the direction of the wind. And as long as the wind is blowing in uh, kind of that golden area, it's the direction we want to go. So, for now, kind of want to just follow the coastline up north. So, let's position that way. Got the wind directly behind us. Should uh, move us along quite quickly here. But yeah, quite, quite a bit of a journey ahead of us.
So what I might do here is just uh, fast forward a bit. So I uh, don't expect it to be very eventful. But we'll cut back maybe once we're at the uh, the northern edge of the island here. Officially just entered into the ocean. We're no longer on the coastline. And we're almost at the uh, the northern edge of the island here, so... We're about to go... into the great unknown. Just one man... in his longboat. Wind's still pretty much behind us. Shifted a little bit. I want to go a little bit that direction. Maybe even a little bit more. And, yeah, pretty much straight from here on out. Saying goodbye temporarily to our spawn island. And off towards the horizon. Oh, and we have an island, a small island out in the middle of nowhere, so let's go check that out. Let's see what's on here. Try and keep the wind in our favor still. Very small island. We can see the uh, the next big island off the distance there. Oh, what is this stuff? Looks like different. All right, let's try and stop ourselves. Right. There is perfect. All right, let's see what we got here. Abyssal barnacle. We can mine that. Maybe. Oh, uh, no, I think this might not be an island. <laughs> this might be a creature of some sort. Okay, let's not, um, knock those off. I think this is a... This must be like a sea monster. Oh god, yep. Okay, let's get on the boat. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> that is not good. <laughs> oh god. I think I regret hitting that barnacle. Okay, let's race to the, uh, <laughs> the coast. Uh, we did pick up something, though. A shard of crustacean shell. Oh, and it's popped back up again. Hey, well, you know, learn something new every day in Delheim. Yikes. <laughs> okay, so this is. This must be the island that the Elder's on. Unless this is a small one, and there's another one beyond. Uh, we did get some more recipes that unlocked uh, when we picked up that uh, that barnacle, that chitlin. We'll have to review what those were. Let's just maneuver this thing around. 
find somewhere to dock it. Let's keep looking behind us, make sure whatever that thing was isn't coming for us. And uh, this island looks like, uh, or this little town here looks like as good a place as any. To stop off. Just turn that. Oh god. Careful. Okay. That works. Uh, we're still moving forward a bit. Okay. Stay back in here. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in there for now. Let's get out our hammer. And... Nothing in this crafting menu, so it's gotta be at the crafting bench. Uh, unlocked. Let's see what we got here. Eggs, some deer. Busted up bed. There we go, some loot. And from here, let's mark our landing position. forget where that is. And yeah, we'll just head out towards the Elder. I think we need ancient seeds to activate this, so let's just figure out our way there. We'll get eyes on it. And we'll probably take him on in the next episode. Just see what this island has to offer first. See another structure up here. And something else over there. It's empty. Let's go check this out quickly. It's like uh, another bee hive up there. Let's get some more honey, another queen bee. Oh, we're gonna have to build up there though, I think. Unless I can grab this stuff. And yeah, we got the bee. Keep heading towards this guy. Check out this place. Probably gonna end up having to drop off those torches. Oh, what I should have done was, um, I should have made us a portal back home and then done a portal out here. That would have been the smart thing. Did 
didn't think of that though. But we do have more tin out here. So we might as well mine some more of this. And we're out of space, so we are going to drop those torches. Let's just get enough for our cauldron. We'll do ten. There's a lot here. Uh, there's ten right there. If we find a dungeon um, and get some cores, then I could make a portal by the Elder. And just make another portal once we get home. And it looks like we do have a dungeon up here, so I see a skeleton. I let them fight each other. Not much of a fight. I uh, will need some gray dwarf eyes. You know what? We could drop this stone, though. And that. Gotta be something. You know, our village over there. It's gotta be a uh, dungeon over here. If there was a skeleton here. Let's look around. Unless that village is just full of skeletons. That's a thick wood. More necks out here. Quite a few actually. We'll get some necks then. Just drop, drop. Where'd they go? Yeah, we got a neck tail. Oh, and it looks like a level two or a, a one star neck. Yeah. Oh, and there's a dungeon right there. Okay. So let's mark that. Okay. Um, I want to make a chest here. Drop that for a moment. Quickly get some wood. Free up some space. Okay. So we're gonna have to drop off some stuff here. If 
we're gonna go in here. Okay, that's enough for a chest. Okay, let's drop this off. Uh, we can stack those. Get out our torch. Let's eat some food. Hopefully there aren't skeletons right in the front entrance. Give our health some time to regen. So we need two cores. We can make a uh, one side of the portal. And when we get home, we make the second side, and then we don't have to worry about the long boat journey to get back to the Elder once we find him. Ah, shit. I'm just gonna get rid of this uh, spawner. There's our cores. Nice. And we're full again. And we got a ghost. Sneak up on this guy. All right, another core. There are a few cores. Get some more money. Well, just for a random dungeon. Quite a bit of stuff. We got six cores already. Uh, okay, next uh, path. Uh, being a farther away from spawn is probably going to give us more loot too, I would think. So I think you get harder enemies the further out you go. Okay. We have what we need. some fine wood now. Uh, I don't have any sap. Okay, never mind. Let's drop off that. Keep that on us. We need a few more great war fires. I think we need ten. Unless that could get dropped off though. Get some fine wood. Mushrooms. Let's grab all that. They don't like the torch. 
Oh god. That guy probably doesn't care about the torch though. Apparently. Let's go off into the open area here. Brute. Let's get out our flame. Arrows. The brute goes down. The brute goes down. All these gray dwarf eyes. Uh, stone. Yeah, I guess we don't need that. Some more fine wood. Some more honey. how much we need for this thing. Uh, 20 fine wood, 10 eyes, 2 cores. Okay. Well, it should give us the rest of the eyes we need. Damn, that's a lot of uh, gray dwarves coming. All right, we are good to move on. Just find where is that dungeon? Right up here. Make that a bit easier to find next time. Okay, so uh, can't drop off anything. Okay. So we're going to take that with us, we're going to take that, 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 uh, stones can stay here. Let's take our valuables with us. Make room for the bee. Oh god. Another brute. Let's 
drop that trophy off. Let's take the mushrooms. Let's leave. I don't think we need the resin. Take the bones. Let's leave these crappy arrows. We'll take the necks, necktails. And... Yeah, I guess that's it. Continue along our path. Well, let's keep out our fire arrows for these guys. Light the forest up. Uh, that direction, I think. And you know what? Let's use our power of Ekther. Serve some energy when running. Oh, is it the next island over? It is. So it's not even this island, unless this is close enough for us to just walk to somehow. Maybe we can get across from over here. Might still be able to get there. Just seeing if there's anything we can drop off so we can get these thistles, but I don't think so. Oh, there's a spawner up there, too. I don't know if we can get there, guys. Might be on the wrong island. We'll see how far this will go. No, oh, it actually does look like it connects. Much further we got. Fairways. Looks like another spawner off in the distance. Oh, we got a building here. Let's check that out. Can't even get up there. Okay, never mind. Ignore that spawner. Some interesting terrain here, some copper nodes sticking out. I 
All right, we're getting close. No other dungeons yet. Another structure, though. Just regenerate our stamina a bit. I saw a blackbird. Oh, actually, chests right here. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, all right, here's a dungeon. Damage there. Alright, we're just gonna mark this one. Go back for that. We can see the Elder on the minimap, though. We are very close. Should be just up here. Locked to. No, oh, this one we climb up. Oh yeah, we can see the uh, the pillars. Oh, and there's a uh, skellies up here. Uh, you know what? Better option. There's a spawner right there. be putting up a uh, portal over here. We're definitely going to want to get rid of this spawner. So you can destroy spawners, or uh, portals. Let's go take a look at this elder circle. And we built a little house for our portal to sit in. So yeah, this will be where we fight the elder. Another structure down there. It's kind of a cool location. Let's read the runestone. Burn their young. A 
talking about the gray dwarves to get the eyes. Okay, cool. Um, it's probably not going to let us build right next to it. I mean, we could just convert this um, stone structure. Maybe we should just do that. Yeah, let's just do that. We'll secure this. Alright, we're gonna go up there. Gonna have to go up there. Let's slice them. Alright, so we're gonna convert this into a portal room. Oh, it's kind of cramped. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, let's go over here. Let's find an area that's gonna give us a little bit of room to build. Maybe back in here. Alright, clear out some trees. And we'll build a crafting bench. There's fine. Be able to do much with this core wood. We can make a chest though. <laughs> Leave me alone, skeleton. Oh my god. This is another dungeon up there, I guess. It's somewhere up there. Maybe way up there. All right, get all that useful wood. And let's start putting down. Some floors. Okay, I'm going to make us a quick, small little portal room, and we'll cut back to end this episode. Alright, well, it ain't perfect, it ain't complete, but my axe is broken, so it'll have to do. Let's build a portal. Right there. Okay. So, we are going to name this... After we talk to Hugen, portals are great for fast travel between different parts of the world. Of course, you need to build one on the other end as well. Then give the pair the same name and they will be automatically connected. So we're going to name this one Elder. If I can spell. And then when we get back home, uh, we will build one for Elder. So we can quickly jump out here. But I'm not going to be able to do that today. I am going to have to run all the way back and uh, set that one up. But uh, next episode, we will take on the Elder. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed a bit of exploration today. I think we encountered our first sea monster. Um, we'll have to, uh, well, actually. Oh, I can't access that because it doesn't have a roof. Uh, but we'll check out what those recipes, those new ones are, uh, in the next episode. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and leave in those comments down below. The Elder is next in Valheim. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later.